what it do, gang? What it do? Yeah, yeah, what it do? What it what it do, gang? We back. We back. We back with static. You hear me on phone up. We back with our video. So now, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Protest Boy from Protest Boy that went back with another video. Hope you're blessed with stay safe time. I'm back to already. God. On God right now, God's gonna do a prayer for all you guys. You need to pray. Amen. Today's video, I'm gonna crush you. I'm gonna crush you now. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's not fun. Let me stop playing. But yeah, we got another video today's video. As you guys know, uh, today's the throwback Thursday. So I got the skins head on. We're talking fall and skin series. And this one is on former Redskins quarterback Mark Brew. Now, take it back to the 2000s, man. Now, come on. We back. Like, cook crap. Back with another video. <laughs> I, 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 I ain't going. No, no, no. I, I ain't going on them, homie. You good, bro? I ain't going on them, man. But I know hey, we're gonna we're gonna talk a lot of things, man. And it's a lot of things I did not know. I thought like he was here longer. Like number one, number one, number two. Let's talk about. Let's just talk about. It. Let's get right into this. So, Mark Brunel is a former NFL quarterback. He is now fifty-three years. He's fifty-one years of age now, but he was drafted in a year I was born. I was born in ninety-three. I think I think that might be on my birthday too, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. That might be crazy. I think that's crazy. Man, I got drafted on my birthday, bro. I got born to the world of Mark Brunel's NFL quarterback. That's crazy. One of them great. But born September 17, 1970. Oh, he's an old man for real. 51 and 279 days old. He uh played at Washington at UW. He was drafted in the fifth round by the Green Bay Packers. In the two thousand, well, in the nineteen ninety three NFL draft, my birth year, and one hundred eighteenth overall pick. Uh, he also played for the Jacksonville Jaguars from nineteen ninety five to two thousand three, which is his pretty much of his prime of his career. He was the, the Redskins quarterback from two thousand four to two thousand six. Uh, New Orleans Saints from oh eight to oh nine. So he took like a year off, I believe, took a couple years off. He was in the league, and then he played for the Jets from twenty ten to twenty eleven. So let's get smack into it, y'all. So we're gonna skip the all we'll skip all this goofy. Uh we'll skip all this goofy, all this goofy in the way. Born and gray. Uh yeah, we're gonna skip all this goofy stuff. Woo! Bro, four thousand y'all in nineteen ninety-six. Nine seven. Little month. So we're gonna get to he was thirty-four when he got to us. Oh my gosh, oh my Cook. Cuh, you serious, cuh? That's that Don Snyder bullshit, bro. He was 34 when he got to us, bro. I didn't even know this, folk. He it was old as hell. Oh, my gosh. Goodness gracious, bro. That's crazy. So he started nine games, played in nine games, went three six as a starter. Ouch. <laughs> he completed 118 for 237 passes for a 47.8% completion percentage. <laughs> Are you serious? You couldn't complete 50% of your pass? Oh my gosh, almighty. This ain't real. <laughs> this ain't real. This ain't real. <laughs> this can't be real, right? You see? Oh my gosh. 1194 passing yards, seven touchdowns to six interceptions. Oh my gosh. Oh mighty. Uh his long was 49 yards. His yards per attempt were five yards. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. His yards per game were 132.7 yards a game. That's just trash. 63.9. Oh my god. He only got sacked 15 times in nine games. So it wasn't even the offensive line for real. That's just that's just trash. He was bad. He was bad that year. He was bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. I, I, I'm about to go in on him. That, that's trash, fool. I think Patrick Ramey started games over. Yeah, he did. He got killed. <laughs> Yeah, get 2.0 when the run won it 
want an old head seasoned quarterback to lead us before Campbell came through. We're still running the wishbone back. Oh, yes, we were running, running the wishbone, fool. You right, fool. We run the wishbone, boy. We look goofy as hell. On phone them. We look goofy in the month, bro. We look dumb as hell. That dumb sh- that shit was dumb as hell. So that was just trash. <laughs> this this is just trash. I might go talk about this season no more. So in 05, he was comeback player of the year. Right? Comeback player of the year. Oh, yeah. yeah, so yeah, so he was comeback player of the year. Or was he not coming up earlier? I don't know. So, once he was come back here, player candidate, I'm trying to see it. Won't show me. Get MVP voting. Uh, Offensive player of the year voting. Offensive rookie of the year. Come out player of the year. He was third in voting that year. For comeback player of the year, Teddy Bruschi won the award. Okay, that's what it was. So he's third in comeback player of the year voting, which is not bad. That's kind of cool. It's all right. Uh, he was 35 years old at this point. He played 16 games. He started 15, went nine and six as a starter. I believe the one game was played by Patrick Ramsey, I think, right? He went 262 passes for 454 yards. That's but still below 60%. It's not bad. That's that's trash. But 57.7% completion percentage, 3,050 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. Uh, the, let's see. Uh, interception uh, percentage was kind of low at 2.2. First down was 155. Uh, the long was 78. Tatana! 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 Y'all, y'all, y'all ain't an old head, bro. Or you ain't my age or older. Y'all don't know about that. Santana, we got to at least be 25 know that. <laughs> y'all for 10 was 6.7, which is a whole yard and a half higher than the year before. Uh, his guards per game went up from 132 to 190.6. His quarterback rating jumped 20 points, which is incredible. He did get sacked 27 times for 213 yards. It's fine. Not a big deal. It's fine. Uh, QBR didn't win a stat back then, so we couldn't really look up QBR. But he was solid that year. Actually, remember he was bench for Bruno. Oh, okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay. So, yes, yeah, see, 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 you shout, shout the off. I do these fall skin series because some of you guys don't remember a little bit more than I remember. Back in 05, I was 12 years old. So, excuse me for my bad memory there. But, yeah. Solid year for Mar Brunel. Uh, they let it went to the playoffs, and we, God, that's our last playoff win. As you guys know, we beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 13 to 7. We didn't score an offensive touchdown, we won the football game, and then we played the Seattle Seahawks. And you know, the rest of the history got our doors blown off, not one of the playoff game sounds. So that's how that went. So, yeah, uh, the next year, uh, huge drop off again, unfortunately. Uh, 06, we went three and six. He went three and six as a starter. He played 10 games, started nine of them. Went three and six as a starter. Uh, 262 pass for 260 attempts, 62.3 percent completion percentage, 1800 yards estimated. Uh, two to one ratio interceptions, inter- touchdowns with eight to four. Uh, first down, his long was 74 and probably was Santana. Of course, it was probably with Santana. I'm pretty sure it was Santana. Yard for attempt were at six, a 6.9, 180 yards per game estimated. Quite range 86, and his QBR was a 41, 42.1. He took two years off of football. I don't know why, but he took two years off. So uh, he became a New Orleans quarterback for a while. He was a backup to Breeze at that point. Breeze was the starter, and the rest is history. He, doing, he started 16 games. No, no. He never played and he never started another game besides one game for the Saints in 09. Yeah, that was about it. And that is the end of Mark Brunel's career. And it wasn't too hot. Yeah, it did fall right to 05. I remember because he couldn't throw a lick no more. It was horrible. 
Where the magic? Where the where the magic? What are the magic doing, fam? I don't know. What did the magic just do? I don't know what they just did, bro. Facts, bro. I don't know what they did, folks. The Orlando Magic? What the? F huh? Wow. They draft. Wow. Okay. I don't know what the Magic Magic are doing. Retired to be a realtor and lost a lot of money in the in the housing recession. So that time, oh, okay, that was during the recession back in oh seven oh eight. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. That makes good sense. Cause we were in a recession back at that point. You're you're correct. But wow, that's what man play football again. That's tough. 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 But my opinions on Mark Brunel, his three years here, he had one good year. Uh, the other two years were definitely so-so. Uh, he was being very brittle. His, his, his arm fell off, basically, like Alexander said, in 06. 04, he was straight trash. It was awful. 05, he looked solid. Tanner came in town. Tanner did his thing. Got to the playoffs, um, of course, in 06. Um but the year after he left, that's when we lost Sean. Um, I don't think I did an episode on Sean Taylor on the Fallen Skin series. I've been waiting to do a Sean episode. I just, I just, I, I don't know. I just, I tell you, let me check my playlist. I might, I might have done it. I don't know. Let me double check that real quick. I might be wrong. Let's see if I did one on um, on uh, on Sean yet. I've done Sean videos. I don't think I've done a Fallen Skin series on Sean specifically yet. So I don't think I've done a, a fallen skin series up on him yet. So they will let me check my dad on playlist for crying loud. Goofy. Phone great. Uh I don't have an episode on this one. Yeah, I've not done one on Sean Taylor. I think I will do one with his uh with the 15th anniversary of his passing. I will do a I will do a a, a Sean Taylor episode. Not during the off season. I'll probably do it during the week of his death to, you know, commemorate his uh, his passing and things of that nature. So I will be doing a Fallen Skin series on him this year. But I think I wanted to wait for that. So, but I think yeah, this one's kind of clear cut. He was okay for a year. The other two years, he was either so so or straight trash. Uh, Brunel, by the time we got to him, was not the same quarterback he was in Jacksonville. He was actually very good in Jacksonville, as you can see. One year he threw. For 4,400 yards, he consistently was thrown for 3,000 or at least 2,500 yards. The interception touchdown ratio was at least two to one almost every single season for the most part. He was solid for them. Uh, completion percentage way higher uh, there. Besides, you know, the 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 one mishap, I think he had like 58 percent completion percentage, 58 here and 58 here. But other than that, he was solid. But this is not it. <laughs> this is not it. <laughs> Honestly, this is not it. Uh, he had a solid NFL career, though. Very, very 2,000 passing yards, 184 touchdowns, 108 picks. Not Hall of Fame worthy, of course, but it's Hall, it's a, it's a Hall of Solid Football Player. That's what it is. He was just a solid football player. And um, I do appreciate Mark Brunel for, make, for getting us a playoff berth in 05 and getting our last playoff win. And we had not won one since. So that's why I want to do an episode on him to – Thank him for getting our last playoff win. And hopefully Carson Wentz can end that drop this year winning a playoff game. That would make me very, very happy as a as a Commanders, Redskins, football team fan. Like, <laughs> that would make me a lot happier about this football team. We actually make the playoffs number one, number two, win a playoff game. So, that's going to do it for me on the Fall Skin Series. Hope you guys enjoy this series. The next episode will be on... I believe Santana Moss. So that's going to be a good one. That's going to be on Tana, I believe. I'll be doing one on Pierre Garçon. 
uh, and Deshaun Jackson. I'm gonna do a combination episode with them. Um, I'm gonna actually gonna do a uh, a posse 2.0 series where I talk about uh, Jameson Crowder, uh, Deshaun Jackson, and Pierre Garcon air in DC from I think 2015 to 2017. Those guys were here. That little, that little short stint of us having Crowder, Deshaun, and Pierre here all at one time. So I will be doing an episode about that very, very soon as well. And that's be about it, man. So hope you guys enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. You guys are new, turn on post notifications. Always catch the protest for here at Protest Force Network. You guys put God for say this COVID. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all stay blessed. Shout out to Mrs. Bergain for commenting. Shout out to Alexander Wilson. Shout out to uh, shout out to Big Money Sunny for pulling up as well. And uh, just shout out to all y'all guys. Um, more content on the way. Tomorrow I'll be live at 7.30 with Tim on the 10 Sports Talk. So come pull up to that. And I'll catch you guys next one. Peace.